Aitzquayel, meaning good day. And as you can see, it really is a good day. Glad you could be here for another drawing and another storytelling session. This week featuring one of my favorite little birds, Hummingbird. And Hummingbird is also paired with another value that we find here in Indigenous Education. That is focus. And what focus looks like. All right. Also to start right here, right now, is another little mini slideshow of some of your work of how you see the Gulf Islands. Here we go, right now. submissions coming whether it's your photos or if you've done today's drawings send the drawings in it's always cool to see uh, what you guys are doing cool so with that uh, we are gonna go back to my studio and we're gonna do a drawing of a story with hummingbird and looking at focus so let's go all right here we are another week Another drawing, another story. Uh, from yours truly, Quentin here, uh, Cucumber. And uh, this week, I'm uh, gonna, gonna go blue. All right, here we are. I'm going to leave a link, uh, just a little disclosure right up front, I'm going to leave a link on this YouTube channel to another YouTube uh, page and it's got it's a great animation story of the classic hummingbird story uh, where a hummingbird uh, comes to the rescue, I won't give it away, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, uh, but uh, there's just uh, it's just, they just do it in such a great way. Uh, Michael Yagalunas, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but uh, <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two good friends. One was Hummingbird, the other was Heron. Heron Hummingbird. They were total opposites, yet they hung out all the, t all the time. Heron, so tall, with his long legs and eating fish, hummingbird, small little wings, and small little body, zipping from flower to flower. But yet, they hung out all together, all the time. Everybody knew in the forest, hummingbird and heron, hummingbird and heron, always hanging out together, palsing around, being buddy-buddy,
they play games together, like hide and seek, or they hang out at the river together, or sometimes with they hang out with the flowers together. And through it, hummingbird grew appreciation to the rivers and fishing. And herring grew appreciation of flowers. Now one day, Hummingbird was had a thought. He thought, hmm, you know, I think I think I'm the fastest bird. The heron said, hmm, that's probably true. Yeah, I think I am. I'm the fastest bird amongst all the birds. It's me. I'm the fastest, fastest bird. Look at me. I'm so fast. No one can be as fast as me. He'll find someone to race you. Fine, fine. I'll go ask Eagle. I'll ask him. Oh, Hummingbird went and asked Eagle. Hey, Eagle. Oh, yes, yes. What's up? What's up? Hey, listen. Want to have a race? You and me? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, uh, look. You're a pretty fast bird. Uh, that's not my thing. I, I tend to ride high on the high thermals, and I just like to spread my wings and just glide. I have to flap my wings like you. You spend a lot of energy. And, whew, just looking at you makes me tired. So, no, no, it's okay. Wow. Who can I race? Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, uh, ask Raven. He's a pretty smart bird. Ask him. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Raven. Uh, hey, hey, listen. Oh, Hummingbird, what's up? Hey, listen, I, I was thinking, um, you want to have a race, you and me? <laughs> you want to have me a race? Uh, yeah, 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 because uh, I'm, I'm going to prove that I'm the fastest bird, once and for all. Oh, really? Huh. Hmm, interesting. Well, you going to race me? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. 
but uh, uh, who, who, uh, who, uh, who are you going to race? It's not me. I mean, uh, yeah. well, I asked Eagle, and he said, ask you. Oh, oh, oh I see. Ah, uh, listen. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I'm, yeah, you could try, you could try his mother bird, like maybe Owl. Owl's pretty wise. Maybe you could ask him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll ask him. Yeah, you, uh, you let me know what, uh, who, who are you going to race? Uh, this, uh, this could get very interesting. Of course, Raven was thinking of an angle. How can I get food out of this? Uh, I think there's, there's an opportunity here, but, uh, yeah, okay, Hummingbird. Yeah, you go ahead. You uh, you let me know uh, uh, how this race is going to happen here. Uh, I'll be very curious to see this. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will. I will. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay, you go ahead now. All right, we'll see you soon. Oh, Hummingbird went and raced, uh, asked Owl for a race. Hey, Owl, well, what do you think? You go out here. Oh, 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 it's tired. Oh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, 10 o'clock? I just went to bed. Oh, you go race. Oh, is this in the daytime? Oh, yeah, of course it's going to be in the day. Oh, well, oh, I'm out. Uh, I'm a night bird. I'm nocturnal. Mmm. 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 Oh. Nocturnal. There you go. There's a word of the day. So, uh, that's a no. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a no. Good luck. Oh, let me know how it goes. And so... Hummingbird bird went around and he asked, he asked all his bird friends. Uh, Kingfisher, hey Kingfisher, what's up? Hey, we want to race? Want to race? What do we do that for? Uh, I'm busy fishing here. I'm hungry and I'm a good fisherman, but it takes me. Whew, it takes me oh, quite a few tries to get to get a fish, so I, I, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, uh, well, he went off and he asked Robin, Hey, Robin, what, what do you think? What do you want a race? A race? I, I can't do that. Ah, my job isn't to be fast. My job is to sing when the sun rises and the sun comes up. Nice, bright, yellow, orange, just like the feathers on my chest. And I proclaim that today is a beautiful day. That's what I do. Ah, no, no, uh, uh, and so he went off. Find another bird. Yeah, hawk. Hey, hawk. What's up? Hey, 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 hey. You want to have me a race? Oh, I don't think so. I like to be high up in the sky. Um, oh, let me guess. Like eagle. You like to ride the high thermals and... Uh, yes, yes, that's right. That's uh, exactly. Oh. Well, you could ask Falcon. Falcon is pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Falcon. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And off he went to ask Falcon. Hey, Falcon. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey. Um, I, I, you want to have a race? Oh, a race. Uh, what kind of race? Well, a race, you know. Uh, say, uh, down the river, um, you know, uh, kind of right over here by the river and down by the river, all the way down out to the ocean. Ooh, that's a long race. Um, well, uh, look, no, that's not my, that's, that's not, uh, that, that wouldn't be for me. What? You're the falcon. You're the fastest bird. Come on. I'm a fast bird, too. We'll decide once and for all who's the fastest. Come on, come on, come on. You and me, you and me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, hummingbird, you are fast. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, 
Yeah, but I'm I'm fast for a different reason. I'm fast in a dive going straight down with gravity. I'm not so fast going straight out across like you want to propose. Oh, oh well, we we could dive. <laughs> no, no. You don't want to go up as high as I go. When I go really high, the air is really thin up there. It's it's not for you. Oh. Uh, well, I am mean, pretty fast. Yes, you are fast, but, uh, you know, uh, I am the wrong kind of bird. Oh, uh, oh, gee. Um, hmm. Wow. So, Hummingbird went back to his friend Heron. And Heron said, Well, I'll you know, find a, a bird to race. No, no one would race me of all the birds. I asked them all. I asked Chickadee and Nuthatch and I asked Woodpecker and Loon and Crow and Raven and Owl and Hawk, even Hawk. None of them were going to race me. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, I guess that's that. I guess it's proven. I am the fastest bird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't prove nothing. What do you mean? Of course I did. I am the fastest bird. Not even Falcon's going to race me. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to race you. You haven't proved anything. You have to prove it. You have to have a race. Well, if no one's going to race me, who's going to race me? <laughs> you? Well, and for some reason, he didn't know why, but he just said it. He just said, yeah, okay, I'll race you. Oh, and he thought to himself, uh oh, why did I say that? You? You're gonna race me? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, you. With your big long beak and your big long neck and your big long legs. <laughs> faster than you? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> no, 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 that's not a race at all. Uh, I could beat you blindfolded. Uh, just... Oh, no, no, no. Hey, just a minute here. You know, I'm a pretty respectable bird. Ah, uh, you know. I am a proud heron. And there's nothing wrong with being a heron. And, oh, you know, I will race you on behalf of all my heron brothers and sisters. You know, we herons, we're a mighty proud bird. And, you know, oh, I thought, you know, yes, I, 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 I will race you. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, boy. I am... Okay, okay, I mean, I, if that's what you really want. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, so when's this going to happen? Well, uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll uh, race tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. Tomorrow, just after the sun rises up, down by the river. Okay, down by the river, then, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right, tomorrow. Well, with a race like that, the word got out. Everybody in the forest heard about this race. All of you heard? Hummingbird and Heron are gonna have a race. Hummingbird and Heron? What? 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 What did they do that for? Well, Hummingbird's trying to prove that he's the fastest bird. and. Not even race him, maybe race rabbit or something. I don't know. Just why would he run a race in? 
I don't know. It's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, uh, we got to see this. I know, I know. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So, you know, the word got out. All the animals are excited. Not only all the birds, but all the animals were super excited about it. It was the biggest news of the day. And, of course, the word got back to Raven. And Raven was so excited about this. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, this will be great. This is fantastic. Oh, what an opportunity. And so he went around to everybody and started to take bets. And, of course, when people heard that Raven... Was up to his local and up to his schemes and like, oh boy, here he comes. Oh yeah. And Heron said, All right, all right. Who here thinks that a hummingbird is gonna win? Of course everybody wanted to put their hand up, but then thought, oh it's Raven. Oh. Come on, come on, who thinks a hummingbird's gonna win? And he's of course he's gonna win. And of course everybody said, Yeah, well of course he's gonna win. We all know that. Well, well, who's who who's 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 for Hummingbird? No one wanted to bet because uh, they sent something up. Was, uh, was up. Raven was up to something. Oh boy. We better not go with Raven here on this. So everybody started to declare that Heron will be the winner. What? Heron? You think Heron's going to win? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. That's the end of it. No, oh boy, no, no, I don't think so. Oh boy, this is a great opportunity. Great, oh, oh boy, oh boy. And what did it come down to? Raven was going to get a whole oh, big mighty feast of just everyone had to feed him. If Hummingbird win, then Raven would get a big feast. But if Heron win, well then everyone would sit down and be fed by Raven. Raven would have to feed everybody in the form of a big pot match. They think, hmm, all right, all right. Raven was, okay, all right, fine, fine, all right. Oh, this is great. Oh, I knew there's some way I could get a free lunch out of this. <laughs> the day of the race was upon them. And all the animals went down to the river from Little snail and slug, to spider and fly, to fox and wolf and bear and raccoon. Uh, even orca swam his way up the river to come and see this. Uh, and, and sea lion and seal, they all had to come see it. I mean, the news just traveled far and wide and everybody had to come and see this. Boy, all of the animals were there. And Humbert and Heron came down the river and looked around, and all the people, and all the people were cheering. <sighs> oh, it was just deafening. Oh, my goodness. And Raven couldn't help himself to be the center of attention. He said, all right, everybody, all right, quiet, 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 everybody, quiet, 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 quiet. Okay, here we have our two contestants. We have Hollywood, and even here we have Heron, and the two of them shall race, a fair race, a race from here down to the river all the way to the ocean. And there by the ocean sits a rotten log with a little branch sticking out of it. And that will be the end marker. And Orca said, ooh, ah, that's right. That's true. That's there. I saw it. Yes, yes. That will be the finish line. There will be no cheating. There will be no tomfoolery. There'll be no interference. There'll be no assistance.
existing. Well, and all the people. Well, no, it sounds fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. May the best bird win. Are you ready, Heron? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Are you ready, Heisenberg? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm, I was born ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hummingbird was just stoked. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go! And pew! Hummingbird took off. Just pew! Just out of sight. Just like that. Ah, uh, Heron was... Oh, oh, stretching his wings. And all the animals, and all the birds, and all the fish, and all, all the insects were all going, Oh no! Aaron! Hey, Aaron, get going! Go! Go, Aaron! Yep, yep, I'll get going here. It's doing my stretches. Doing the stretches. Don't want to pull a muscle here, you know. Gotta, gotta, gotta take care of yourself. Oh, come on, move, move, move. Ray was saying, it's okay, Aaron. Take your time, take your time. <laughs> oh, this is too easy. Oh, I can see it now, a feast in my honor. And all the animals are around Raven like, oh, quiet, Raven, be quiet. It's not over yet. All right, it's not over yet, but if this is how it's going to start. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is too easy. Oh, I can be from a baby. <laughs> oh, and Raven walked away thinking about all the good food he was going to eat. And Heron lifted off. <gasps> watched him slowly down the river, which he wing deep. Oh, <laughs> hurry up! Go, Harry, go, come on, faster, faster! And all the animals were, oh boy, Oh, and some of them are, oh, that's it. Oh, we might as well get Raven's dinner ready now. Hey, that's no problem. Sounds good to me. Um, I like clams and salmon. Oh, I like salmon. Oh, you know, a little over easy, you know, a little, little glaze. A little, little, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's good plant cooked. It's beautiful. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love it, love it. Oh, boy. Hmm. And Humber took off. He was so fast. He was way down the river, around the corner, around this bend, around the next bend. Oh, he was miles before Harry even got going. Oh, my goodness. He was so fast. It wasn't even fair. But being so fast, it does take a lot of energy. And he stopped on a branch. Ooh, 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 <laughs> this is too easy. Ooh, ooh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I don't even see him. Oh, boy. This is too easy. Oh, boy. 
searching Humber found some flowers he found some nectar because we all know that's what they like to eat nectar oh okay nectar oh excellent hey Humber drank deeply <laughs> And some bees came by, eating nectar. And then, another hummingbird came by. And it wasn't just any hummingbird. It was a girl hummingbird. And not just any girl hummingbird, it was a Beautiful girl hummingbird. Oh, he, his jaw got all slack on him. Oh, and his heart rate started going up. I, I just, I just, his eyes got really big. Oh, And she turned to him and said, Hummingbird, is that you? Oh, y yes. Oh my gosh, it is you. Uh, oh, it's, it's you. And Hummingbird remembered now. They went to school together. So many years ago. Oh my goodness, it's so wonderful to see you. Oh, it really is you. Oh my goodness. How you been? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, it's good. I'm uh, good, yeah. Don't you remember me? Yeah. I just, you've changed so much. You're dead. Uh, your feathers are shinier, uh, and you're, you're so colorful. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, uh, I, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, well come on, come on, you have to go meet the family. Uh, oh, uh, I can't. Uh, I'm right in the middle of a race, right? Your race? Yeah, well... I'm right in the middle of a race right now with Heron, and, um, you're in a race with Heron? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in a race with Heron, but, uh, I, I don't have time right now to, uh, do this, but, uh, look, maybe I... Oh, well, I thought, you know, maybe, maybe we could, we could be a family, and we could have some time together. Well, I, oh, uh, oh, uh, um, oh boy, ah, uh, well, could, uh, just real quick though, uh, right, right, we could just do this real quick? Oh, okay, okay, well, no, yeah, we could do that, all right. So, girl hummingbird led hummingbird to the family, and in through the door and walked in, and there was Mr. Hummingbird, Mrs. Hummingbird. Hi, hi, hi. So, you're the hummingbird I've been hearing now. What? 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 Oh, so you're the one who wants to date my daughter. Well, I date my daughter. And girl hummingbird is that? Mm-hmm. What? What date? I, I, uh, you don't? Uh, no, I do. Uh, want to date your daughter, uh, yeah, well, that's good. Well, 
We'll start off by having a feast tonight. Uh, here at our place. Tonight? Ah, uh, uh, I... <laughs> I really appreciate the offer, but... Yeah, I, listen, um, I... Uh, I was just explaining to your daughter that um, I'm in the middle of a race right now. A race? What kind of race are you in? Well, see, I'm racing I'm racing my friend Herod and it's it's just you know it's a Heron <laughs> that's not a race <laughs> you don't have to worry about Heron you sit down here tonight and you're gonna have dinner with us uh is there any chance I could do this tomorrow night? no 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 if you're here to date my daughter then you're gonna spend time with our family. We'll get to know each other. Ah, ah, oh. I, 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 I've, I've gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta ring it here in the middle of a race. And I, I um, oh, I, I, can I, I really gotta go. And of course, girl, I mean, where's I? What? You're leaving me? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not leaving. I just, just for the race, I, I'm not leaving, leaving. I just, I... <laughs> Daddy, he's leaving. You're leaving my daughter? No, 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 Mr. Hummingbird, Mr. Hummingbird. No, no, I'm not, I'm not leaving. I... <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I said, no, no, it's it's cool, it's cool. I just. Oh, no, I mean, none of that. No drama in my house now. We're all gonna sit down together as a family and have a nice dinner. Oh, dinner. Like, are you eating, eating dinner lunch or like dinner, dinner? Dinner, dinner, tonight! Tonight? Huh? <laughs> he hasn't even told me he loves me! <laughs> nah, I, I like you! <laughs> See? He can't say it! He can't say it. He loves me! <laughs> oh, you better say that you love my daughter! Ah, uh, yeah, I... Love you. Okay. Okay. All right. I love you. I love you guys. I love you all. We're gonna have dinner. I love dinner. Oh, just a big loving. Okay. Great. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, love it. Is it? What are you looking for? Ah, uh, just looking at the river. Very scenic river here. Ah. Uh, Well, let's have, let's have the appetizers. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, so Hummingbird was stuck in the Hummingbird household. Oh, and he met uncles and cousins and, uh, and you know, in-laws and outlaws and everybody. Oh, the hummingbirds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and, of course, girl hummingbird is very proud to show that her new boyfriend. Oh, and all the while, he was looking out the window. Where's the parent? I don't see it. Have this dinner. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Oh boy. Well, after much food and much drinking nectar and good times and laughter, well, Hungry kind of actually forgot about the race because he's had such a good time. And well, you know, it, well, that girl having burned, she was kind of cute. And uh, you know, uh, well, maybe things will work out here. This won't be so bad after all. I and mean, you know, they're actually a pretty cool family. Alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he started being the center of attention. 
Hey, listen, hey, it's the fastest hummingbird. Now, come on, you make us proud. Oh, oh you're racing a heron. Oh, that's easy, ha right? Ha <laughs> ha, well, you go and you make us proud, boy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, well, they all slapped him on the back. <laughs> oh, good, oh, good boy. All right, you, you all make us hummingbirds proud. I know you will. You won't let us down. Well, well I, I, you know, I, oh, oh, I will, I just, after a good night's rest, yeah, I sure will, I, oh, oh, and it was getting late. Oh, boy, and then when I looked out, oh, it's dark out. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I just don't want to go to bed. Oh. And he crashed on the couch. <laughs> Hummingbird was too tired. Oh, but not Heron. Heron? Oh, Heron was actually, he was just lumbering along. He was just slowly sometimes gliding down the river and he just kept his pace and going and going and going until finally he just Looked up and saw the moon, saw that it was getting dark out. Oh, and he said, Oh, I better keep going. I haven't heard uh, anybody come here and tell me the race is over, so I better keep going. <laughs> well, here we go. And he kept on through the night. One o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. And sometimes lying. Five in the morning. And just around six, the sun was just starting to come up. And he realized, oh, I'm here. Oh, uh-oh, nobody's here. Uh-oh, uh -oh. he came to the log by the mouth of the river where it meets the ocean. Oh, I'm here. He landed on the log, looked around, maybe I'm on the wrong log. Oh. Well, this is the only one. And right there, other animals and birds started to appear. Heron? You're here! Oh my gosh! Heron's here! Heron, Heron did it! Where, where's Hummingbird? I don't know. I don't know. It's not here. Hey, Heron, have you seen Hummingbird? No. Well, what happened? I was just flying. You were flying. Well, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so let's back up here. You started the race. Remember, hunger took off. I left you behind, and you started. We were all there. We saw you. So what happened after that? I just flying and flying, and and then it, we had it was nighttime. So then, what happened after that? I just kept flying. So you flew through the night. You flew all night. Yeah. Did you ever come across hummingbird? No, didn't see him. Maybe, uh, maybe I passed him in the night, or uh, uh, maybe he got lost. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Um, okay, I, yeah, well, uh, okay, okay, well, hey, everybody. Uh, Heron's here, but we better find Hummingbird. What's, what's going on with Hummingbird? We better find him. Well, a big search party was put out for Hummingbird. 
Everybody started looking everywhere. Hummingbird, hummingbird, oh hummingbird. <whistles> hey, hummingbird, hey, hey. And everybody looked everywhere and coming back and reporting and I seen him. Wow, and um, the people are. Of course, Raven was the most excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he must have finished the race and got bored, and then, and then he, he, he must, uh, he must have, uh, he, he must have finished. Uh, he's just, he's just tired. Uh, that's what, that's what, it, yeah, that's what it is. He's tired because he did it so fast. He's having a nap somewhere. Uh, that's what happened. Eagle and Owl are pretty wise. Hmm, Owl said, I think, if I remember serves me, I think the Hummingbird clan is just upriver. Maybe they would know. Uh, they'd be family, wouldn't they? Eagle said, yeah, uh, let's go check. So they went and they checked in on the Hummingbird clan. And he knocked on the door. Hello? Hello? No. Oh. Hello, uh, Eagle here, an owl. And so the uh, hummingbirds came to the door, and they're all very tired after a late night of feasting and festivities. And oh, hey, good morning, owl, eagle. What's up? Oh, we're here looking for hummingbird. Um, he was uh, in a race. Oh yeah, he's right here. He's right here. There he is on the couch. And sure enough, there was Hummingbird on the couch. And Eagle and Owl looked at each other. They looked at Hummingbird on the couch. Looked at each other. How long has he been here? Oh, he came here yesterday, uh, just after morning. Uh huh. Uh huh. How long has he been here? Oh, he's been here. He's all day. We had a long festivities and. We, Oh, we welcomed him into our family. He's he's a, he's a good, stand, outstanding young man. He said he was in a race with uh, Herod. Yeah, yeah, he is. And uh, he's going to make us proud. Oh, uh, you better wake him up. Hey, I'm bird. <laughs> you better wake up there, son. Wake up, wake up. Hey, uh, Owl and Eagle are here to see you. Hmm, yeah? Oh, Eagle, what are you doing here? Uh, you didn't finish the race. What? What? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what time is it? It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, the, it's uh, the next day here. Uh, you, you lost the race. Oh, oh no, oh no. I, I, uh, I was, I'm, I'm stuck. I was in here and I couldn't go. I, I, you know, I, I tried to get, I tried to finish the race, but I was, uh, I was here in this family and I couldn't. And, oh, oh, oh no. You mean Heron won it? Heron's the winner. And all the hummingbirds are, what? Heron's the winner? Oh, that's ridiculous. How could that be? I, uh, he, he missed out on the race. He, he. Sorry, Herod's the winner. And all the animals are super excited. <sighs> and Raven was like, oh, yeah. no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, and Raven, he had to feed everybody and have a big potlatch and everybody brought everybody together as a big community. Oh, and everyone had a great time. And Raven was busy as the cook and the cleaner and the welcomer and he was being the host of everybody. He was really busy. Whew. Oh boy. And that is the story of Heron and Hummingbird. An unlikely friendship that, well, was a little strained after that. But, you know, at the potlatch, Rabbit and Turtle, they looked at each other and said, Hmm, this sounds like a very familiar story. Ah, Rabbit was like, 
Oh, yeah, don't tell me. Anyway. Also, I'd just like to uh, mention, uh, in the beginning, we had a slideshow of all your beautiful photos from the photo contest, and uh, it's great. Keep them coming in. I had a very timely submission from our very own Iris in kindergarten who took a great picture of a hummingbird. Ironic because I've actually had my camera set up at my hummingbird feeder throughout the week and I can't get a picture of a hummingbird. I don't know. I, maybe we'll have to uh, make us <laughs> put more sugar in the feeder and make it sweeter. <laughs> I, so good for you, Iris. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, so, big round of applause for her. Uh, submitting this great photo. Also, uh, looking at, you know, focus. Uh, in the story, you could see, clearly see, that Hummingbird lost his focus. He probably had the tools and the equipment to get the job done and be the fastest bird in the race. In fact, I think I've even posted some facts about how fast a hummingbird flies and how fast a heron flies, and mathematically, a hummingbird wins. Hands down. But, don't have the focus, well, well yeah, you're not, you're not gonna win. When thinking about focus and thinking about vision and what we have, I came across some great quotes and I just thought why not just post them so I'm gonna post those right now while I'm shading some great quotes uh, about vision and about having focus and what that looks like so I'm gonna post them up here right now and I'll see you back looking behind I am filled with gratitude Looking forward, I am filled with vision. Looking upwards, I am filled with strength. Looking within, I discover peace. Certain things catch your eye, but pursue only those that capture the heart. As Aboriginal people, we have always retained our resilience, our humor, and our cultural integrity we will always retain our dreams and a vision for the future of our people. Tell me, and I'll forget. Show me, and I may not remember. Involve me, and I'll understand. One of the things about focus, focus is great in getting uh, the job done, achieving the objective, to make the goal, to finish the race, to score the goal. I, Focus is great. I, you know, you know when you ask athletes, if, you know, just they've been training and training and training uh, to to uh, score goals. I mean, I know hockey. You know, surprise, surprise. Uh, I'll try not to make this a hockey thing, but uh, you know, yeah, often they interview athletes. You know, after the game, you know, wow, how'd you do that? Wow, I don't know. I just I was in the zone. Well, that's what happens. You know, all that training. You know, the body just takes over and just they're in the zone and it just, it just happens, you know. The muscle has memory or, uh, you know, everything's just a reaction, which is good, you know. Like, um, uh, so I've known uh, people that uh, are emergency responders who, you know, drive an ambulance or my dad was, was part of the fire department in those days. Uh, the, there was no ambulance service in Maple Ridge. I guess that's 1970. Uh, the fire department was the first on the scene at a car crash. And with focus, uh, it's great because if uh, I'm not trained, I don't have focus, you know, if I see a car accident, I'd be, oh my gosh, oh, oh, what do we do? Oh, this, this is terrible. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what to do. But someone with training and has the focus and knows what to do, they know. Ah, oh, simple. Ah, uh, A, B, C, airway, breathing, circulation. All right. Make sure it's safe. Make sure, you know, I know. So they just know just one, two, three, four, five. They just run through the steps and they just 
know exactly what to do. And it's just calm, cool, collected. We need those kind of people, right? Sometimes that focus can uh, run against us. Uh, myself, way back when, when I was in college, uh, even in, I think it even started in high school. I just thought, wouldn't it be great to have a million dollars, to be a millionaire? Oh, I think I could just retire and live off the interest. And if I do that all by 25, I'll have life set. Well, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I'm still working and I'm still, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but I, I thought about that and that actually became a driving force in my life. It became something that I just thought about every day. Work, work. And just work hard, work hard, work hard. I just, you know, just stay up late and work hard. And, and you know, if, if I do well in college, I'll, you know, I'll get a really good pay, high paying job and I'll work hard, work hard. And uh, uh, in college, uh, in graphic design, I work from, you know, go out, get up at 5.30, hit the road at 6 o'clock, be there at 9 o'clock. Stay there until about 10 o'clock at night at the college. Either I'm working in class or working in the lab. And, oh, man. I, and then go home. Get home around 11. Oh, too tired to make dinner. I'll just have a bowl of cereal. Oh, hi, hi. And then, uh, or, you know, I'll have some ramen noodles. Or, and this just went on for months at a time. Work, 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 work. You know, maybe the, you know. Focus in there was work. It wasn't necessarily money, but you know, like I think the drive was there. And uh, yeah, months later, I'm outside helping my dad on the weekend, helping him with a fence. And we're digging a hole in the ground, and then bending over using the auger, you know, like this. I'm digging a hole in the ground. Now I'm digging that hole in the ground. My dad, who sees the top of my head, he. He looks at my, at my head as I'm doing that, and he says, Hey, Quinn, what's wrong with your head? What do you mean, what's wrong with my head? There's nothing wrong with my head. No, 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 no. You, you're, you're bending over there. What, what, what's wrong with your head? What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong. No, 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 I saw, I saw something there. And, uh, turns out, uh, he was right. I... I had this funny little spot on my head. A little bald spot. And I'm like, oh, yeah, look, yeah, see? And there's another one over here. Like, what? Of course, just back then, you know, just, you know, being a French, being a teenager, and, you know, now into college, my hair was everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's, you know, it's just hair. I just kind of, you know, but back then, you my hair was just, don't touch the hair. Well, I got these little bald spots on my head, on top of my head. Uh, technically called alopecia areata, I think it was called. I'll have to look that up. Um, it's a condition of, of just these little bald spots that can pop up. And I went to go see the, the doctor. So, oh. Yeah, passing along to a specialist. I went to the specialist. The specialist. And I said, ah, yeah, the doctor. And he said, oh, Quentin, you're too young to be having this. What's going on? What are you doing in your life? Uh, uh, uh. Are you sleeping much? Uh, yeah, well, not much. You know, maybe four hours a day. <laughs> four hours? My goodness. No, 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 you can't be doing that. Um, what's your diet like? Uh, ramen noodles and cereal? <laughs> Are you getting any vegetables or fruit? Um, uh, fruit loops? <laughs> uh, no, it's 
terrible, terrible diet. And uh, ah, yeah, just work it was enough. I was over focused. I was over focused. You know? Yes, it's good to be focused on work, but to be over focused and thinking about it all the time, all day, all night, and oh my goodness. It actually took a toll on the body. Uh, you know, very unhealthy. So, yes, it's good to be focused, but not over focused, where you're. Um, Everything else comes at a cost. It's important to have balance when being focused as well. Being aware of the big picture. Being aware of the big picture of yourself. You know, there's health, there's family, there's your own spirituality, there's own time, there's your, uh, your marriage, there's yourself, there's, uh, you know, Often there's a joke about having me time. Yeah, me time is important, but you know, you can have me time be all the time. You know, just like uh, anything else, right? Everything's got to be imbalanced. I liken it to a, a wheel. Where it's like a there's a wheel, and there's spokes on the wheel, and each one of those devotions, those uh, drives we have in our life, is a spoke. And if one of those spokes is broken, one of those spokes is out of whack, shorter, lacking, broken, then the whole, well, 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 if you have a broken spoke on your bike, you know, not that long before your wheel's getting all wonky, you know, it's no good. Gotta fix the spoke. Gotta straighten your wheel out. No good. I also, uh, as you're focused, um, be focused, you know, I guess it's, you know, often we're so focused on the now because it's what's right in front of us. Uh, but be focused, um, overall that, you know, if something doesn't meet your objective, uh, okay, all right, this didn't go as I thought it would. Uh, just like when I came to Salt Spring, okay. Didn't get a job at the school district. Okay, but clearly I heard from the creator, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm not in the school district. What am I gonna do? Okay. Whew. Okay, but I'm still focused on the end goal is to get a job working with Aboriginal education. But it's not happening right now. Okay, okay, so you know, worked with Randy at Five Star Moon. Thumbs up to Randy. <laughs> Five Star Moon. If you're going to move on island, move with Randy. Shameless plug. Good guy. Uh, uh, you know, other one is, uh, you know, worked uh, at Thrifties. Worked at, uh, uh, thumbs up to Thrifties. Uh, worked at uh, Sable Fish Hatchery. Another thumbs up. Uh, until finally I worked with the district. But each time, I didn't realize it. Each one of those was like a little segment to a circle. And sometimes we get caught up looking at the segment and think, what's that? That's totally useless. Ah, you know, getting a job at Thrifties or Five Star Movie. You know, ah, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. It's, you know, this, uh, no. Well, well, this is actually helping you retain your focus. There's, there's, you know, this is a, a starting block. This is a building block, and it's going to be another segment, you know, to Thrifties, to Sablefish, uh, and then finally to the school district. So, absolutely, you know. So, sometimes we think, you know, things aren't connected when, you know, sometimes there's an overall arching story, an overall arching narrative um so i know it's hard to see that you know and sometimes that's where uh elders and uh, parents you know can stand back from experience go you know what i know this doesn't look quite look like what you had in mind but there could be something here you know just hang on you know don't be so quick to change your mind so yeah so it's good to have those uh, uh 
uh, people in our lives. That's why I said last episode, grandparents are cool. Give them a hug. Well, see, there's a reason to give them a hug. So if you have grandparents, give them a hug again. <laughs> All right, well, that is this week's episode with featuring Hummingbird and Heron and looking at focus and I uh, hope this has brought a smile to your day and take care, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.